Welcome friends once again. Here is another problem of perimeter. Uh, here let me read the question. A rectangle piece of a land measures 0 0.7 kilometer by 0 0.5 kilometer. This is actually length and this is the breadth of the rectangular uh, rectangular piece of land. And each side is to be fenced four rows of wires. What is the length of the wire needed? Mm, yeah. So uh, suppose I have a I have a field, a rectangle field something like this okay and uh, the length of this rectangular field is 0 0.7 this is kilometer and the breadth is 0 0.5 right this is 0 0.5 kilometer so of course this length will be also 0, point 0 0.7 kilometer and this will be again 0 0.5 kilometer my pen is not working properly it's making some you know uh, some curvy lines though I'm writing straight fine so this is our length and breadth and this is our rectangular field and uh, according to the question uh, the land owner wants to fence it with the four rows of wires right four rows of wires suppose here is one pillar second pillar third pillar and four pillar here is and he wants to fence it he wants to fence it like this how many times he wants to fence four times so one time again two time again three time right and again four time so he wants to fence it by four times so what is the length of the wire needed it will be very long wire right I don't know how much lengthy it will be so I need to calculate that that length in it that lengthy wire what is the length of this wire this is about the starting point and ending point that that can fence this whole rectangular plot rectangular uh, land of piece of land four times right so how to find out what about finding a perimeter once perimeter means you know uh, yeah I know you, you know this but let me repeat once again uh, perimeter means simply just the sum of the all sides right sum of the boundaries sum of these boundaries and one time if we find out the perimeter that, that will give you the sum of these all sides at one and if we multiply the perimeter four times it will give you the length of the wire because uh, because you know fencing this whole land is just uh, it's, it is just a perimeter right the length of the fencing this uh, land one time is the length of the perimeter right one time fencing right one time fencing length fencing length one time fencing length is equals to perimeter is equals to perimeter is equals to perimeter right this is perimeter so let, let's first find out the perimeter of this gar uh, of this garden or you can say rectangular piece and the perimeter of this rectangular piece is 0 0.7 that is uh, perimeter is simply the addition of all the sides right so first uh, let me add this part that is 0 0.7 0 0.7 kilometer and then this part that is 0 0.5 and then this part that is 0 0.7 and then this part that is 0 0.5 again okay so altogether now 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 it will be 1.4 and 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 that is 1 altogether it is 2.4 kilometer 2.4 kilometer uh, meter is the perimeter you can also find out the perimeter quickly by the formula that is perimeter of the rectangle is twice the length of uh, length and the breadth sum of the length and breadth that is 2 times 1.7 plus 0 0.5 right and uh, this 2 times 1 times 1.7 and 0 0.5 uh, that is 1.2 that will give you 2.4 kilometer directly you can find out the perimeter now uh, the question is saying we need to fence it four times right four rows one time two time three time four time that means one time completely and then second time completely and then third time completely and then fourth time completely so it is just the four times four times the perimeter right or you can say simply four times perimeter so now the length of the wire required equals to length of wire or string required uh, required will be equals to four times the perimeter and our four times the perimeter perimeter is 2.4 kilometer 2.4 kilometer 
and therefore 4 times 2.4 that will be 9.6 9.6 kilometer lengthy wire we need to fence this rectangular uh, piece of land okay uh, plot whatever you can say so it, it's all about the uh, perimeter right you you should know how to find out the perimeter and you should know what is exactly perimeter so we know that perimeter is just the sum of the all boundaries right so we, we, we did this problem and similar types of a lot of problem you will be getting and try to solve all those problem right because you have the very good concept of perimeter you are, uh, I hope you are watching since the introduction part of the perimeter